Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Uh, we are on Windfall Island. Uh, we got a sail so we can now actually uh, advance the game and move forward. Uh, but there's still some other side quests I want to take a look at. I don't know if I'll actually be able to finish all the stuff I want to do here, but uh, I'm at least going to check them out for now and give you guys an idea of what we will be working on later. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this building right here. Um, I believe this is a fun little mini game we can uh, play, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed it is. Say hello to Salvatore. Hey, welcome. It's 10 rupees per game for kids. You want to play or what? Sure. Yeah, okay then. Um, <clears throat> Welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dolvaski. Look sharp, for we are the sole protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert, all hands on deck. Sonar shows that schools of deadly giant squids are approaching. All ships, prepare for battle. What? Where? Ah, who? I see. There are three squid groups, a large one, a medium one, and a small one. If we allow them to come any closer, the children on the island will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system to seek out and sink all these fiendishly hidden enemies. But Vivan, you have only 24 cannonballs that you can fire. To destroy the marauding squid pods, you must score four direct hits on the large three, uh, on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Use the control stick to move the cursor and press A to fire cannon blast. May your aim be true, that is all. That is all the instruction you need. Is that clear, sailor? Yes. Excellent, so far our best sailor has managed to destroy all the giant squid using only 20 cannonballs. May you fight as bravely. So yeah, this is uh, kind of a battleship uh, type of game. So you have to basically just guess and hope you can find uh, the three squids. Now, like it said, uh, there are different sizes, so, and all the squids are going to be either vertically or uh, horizontally placed. So if you find a hit, chances are you could find the other hits too. Uh, this is very, very luck-based, I'm going to say that right now, so there's n probably a high likely we're going to be failing this a number of times. Uh, but you do get some prizes for this, so let's go ahead and see if we can find it. Splish. Nope. Splish. Nope. 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 Well, this is not going well so far. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I found one. Okay, so that's the medium squid. Or is that the t or is that the uh, small one? If that's the small one, then this might actually be another one. Or this one? No. Okay. So yeah, that's a that's the three one. Um, let's see. Nope. 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 Kaboom! Okay, well, see, it gave us an idea of where the other ones were anyway. Uh, so, yeah, the two prizes uh, you can get. You have to complete this twice, and then you also have to beat the high score. So those are all the prizes. So I'll give this a couple of shots. But I don't want to waste all of my rupees on this. So um, at some point I will probably just kind of give up and go back to this later. Okay, so okay, so this is okay. This is the big one. So we found that one. Okay, there's one. There's the three. Now we just need the two. And again, it's just really unfortunate. There's no way to know if, like, you got it or not. It's just gotta keep hoping that you find it at some point. So yeah, unfortunately I didn't do it that time. Let's go ahead and try again. 
I'll wait till I get to about 80 rupees, and then I might actually do some, like, save and save strats. So if I don't find them, I'll just, like, reload my save until I get a good attempt. But yeah, I mean, it's Battleship. It's, it's luck-based. There's, like, no way of free to know, like, where exactly the ships are gonna be. Unless your opponent does a really bad job of hiding the locations. <laughs> Okay, well, we're, we have a good run again. Okay, there's the two. So now that we have, like, the three missing, like, we we can make some assumptions and some strong guesses about where it could be. Oh, my God! I might be able to do it, so it's not it's going to be up or down. And we did it. I, I don't know if we... I think we have to actually have to beat the high score, though. That's the thing. <laughs> Excellent work, sailor. Your deeds have successfully protected the peace on this fair island. We are so very proud. The children on the island would like to thank you, sailor. Hooray! Yay! Hooray! Yay! Yay! Oh, thank you, Mr. Sailor. Please take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude. You are so great. There we go, we got a piece of heart, you collect the three so far, collect one more to increase your life energy by one heart. So uh, thanks for playing and all that, I can't tell you how fun it's been for me. And uh, don't forget your umbrella or nothing on your way out the door. But, as I said, uh, there are two other rewards, and I guess I didn't get the high score one, I literally have to get 19 in order to get that. And, you know, you get another one obviously if you uh, just beat the game again, so... I'm going to try. Even if I don't beat the high score, I'm still going to give it my best effort to, uh... So that's a two. There's another one. There's a three, so now I just have to find the four. <laughs> the four should logically be, like, the easiest one to find. Got it. Okay, sweet. I think I actually did it, guys. Excellent work, sailor. Your deeds have successfully protected... Yeah, children are happy. <laughs> I, I love how I can like, kind of see him like smile there, too. Like, he, he, he is getting into like playing as the uh, children, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so the second prize we're going to get is a treasure chart. And I think we're going to get another treasure chart for beating the high score. Whoa, wait a second. 19? Hey, that's a new record. So uh, you get this too. <laughs> and then we get another treasure chart. Uh, so basically, uh, treasure charts are... Um, they're basically treasure maps. Uh... A treasure chart will point to a specific location at the Great Sea, and if you have the specific treasure chart and an item to salvage treasure, uh, you can actually find uh, a reward of some kind, which will either be rupees or a piece of heart. So we are going to be going for all the treasure charts because uh, I do kind of see them as a uh, collectible, and they can actually be beneficial. Plus, if you want to get all the pieces of heart, you will need to collect some of the treasure charts anyway. Um, but yeah, we will be trying to go for all the treasure charts in addition to all the pieces of heart and everything. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's uh, pretty much that mini game. I don't think there's a reason we'll ever have to play that again. So uh, hope you enjoyed playing some Battleship. And the last side quest we're going to do is going to be this shop over here. This is the camera shop. And as you know, we did get a nice little camera when we were uh, rescuing Tingle earlier. So we'll go ahead and uh, see what we can do here. Why, young sir, I must say, you seem to be in possession of a very fine picto box there. Are you a lover of pictographs as well? There can be no villains amongst the ranks of picto box lovers. Take your time, look around, I implore you. Let's actually go upstairs and look around up here. Oh ho 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 ho! Aren't these some finely snapped pictographs? You must admit it. 
But come now, you needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. It's quite an amusing diversion, think nothing of it. By the way, the pictographs you see decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see, in my younger days, I was a tireless sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs whenever I went. Have a look at them, young sir. So yeah, these are basically just like different locations throughout the Great Sea. This pictograph chills me to the bone. The Forsaken Fortress. This place lies to the northwest of our fair isle, but has been enveloped by filthy dark clouds of fate. Uh, of late. What are we to do against the silent evil that lingers there? If you value your life, young sir, then at the very least you should stay as far away from that place as you possibly can. It feels as if evil is not in this world lies in wait there, bidding its time. I'm not going to look at all of these, but again, these are just like different sites you can see throughout the uh, throughout the entire uh, game. So we'll definitely have to be on the lookout for uh, some of these. Because there's some really, really cool locations out there. Uh, one thing I will look at, I will look at this picture over here. What kind of pictograph is this, you ask? One ill-fated day, misfortune befell me and my boat was destroyed. Clinging to the wreckage, I drifted at the whims of the waves. That's when I saw this monstrosity. This foul ship veiled in mist and fading in and out of sight like something of another world. Yes, my young sir, tis none other than the ghost ship. The rumors I've heard tell of a man who researched the reaches of the sea where the ghost ship faded in and out of sight, and that he drew a map of its movements. But it is said that as soon as the man had finished drawing the lines of that cursed map, he died a most unexpected death. Chilling, truly chilling. Now if one were able to find that map, then it might be possible to sneak onto the ghost ship and get the treasure that is said to lurk within its hole. So yeah, we'll uh, keep that in mind for the future, because yeah, that's uh, something we may be interested in finding at some point. Um, but yeah, that's uh, basically all that's up here. You get to just take a look at some photographs and learn about some locations that we'll probably be uh, venturing to at some point in the game. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back down here and get... Uh... I guess he's going to be up here then. Flash, you've captured art. Oh, okay. Thank you, but <laughs> get down here because I have side quests to go on. Okay, do I have to wait for him to get over here then? Yes. You see, young sir, I have been studying picto boxes since I was but a lad. My lifelong dream of creating a box with incredible pictography capabilities is at long last nearing fruition. Young sir, I hesitate to ask, but could you perchance become my research assistant? Sure. Oh, oh, ho, really? Really and truly? My heart leaps at your enthusiasm, but I feel I must tell you, the path of an assistant must follow is not a simple one. I demand that whoever takes on the role of my assistant be an individual who can take whatever command I may issue and promptly complete it without hesitation. It will be quite a challenge, I assure you. Are you still sure you want to do this? Yes. Ah, you must share my love of the pictograph. What is your name, young sir? Slim, is it? Very well, then. I shall issue three commands to you. On the dawn of the day you complete all three tasks, you shall be my number one assistant, Slim. Now then, for my first command, a love letter. Do you know what that is, young sir? It is a collection of words of love, long unspoken and put into written form. Somewhere in this town there is one who, despite constant rejection, never learns the cold lesson of unrequited passion and continues to write letters of doomed love. I am certain the object of this sadly one-sided affection is in quite a quandary over the matter I am one of the mind that I must have a word with the unwanted suitor. However, I must have a physical evidence, and thus your first task is to snap a pictograph of this individual in the act of sending the unwanted letters. That sounds easy, does it not? Rightly so. If you hope to be my assistant, you must perform this task with ease. Okay, so we have to go on a couple of uh, picto box quests. Uh, some of these can be kind of awkward to do uh, especially this one 
Uh, basically, the guy we need to get a pictograph of is... Well, he won't appear yet. Let me walk up here, because we'll definitely see him. It's a guy we saw earlier. I didn't point him out, but... There he is. That's the guy we need. <clears throat> so he's going to actually go all the way down here. And he's going to try to mail it in this picto box right here. So what we need to do is we need to get over here and take a picture of him when he uh, puts the letter in the box. This is kind of awkward though because I feel like um, it has to be at the exact moment. And it's not entirely obvious of when that is. We just have to wait until he gets here, and then we'll try to get the picture. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Fine. Ho, 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 my sweet, sweet daughter, my only daughter, poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know. Please, please save my poor daughter. I beg of you. Here I stand, begging. I hope you'll give these scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh, yes, pay. Okay, now leave me alone. <laughs> no! Oh, damn it. I think I messed it up. Damn it! <laughs> I'll make sure it's not the other one. Yeah, I didn't think it would be. Okay, hold on. I gotta try again. Okay. Let's try this again. He had a letter in his hand. He clearly had a letter in his hand. Oh, -ho, now this is a finely snapped pictograph indeed. Hmm, now, they say love is blind, but what could he be thinking mailing all these letters? I should not ridicule him, though, for he reminds me of myself back in the innocence of my youth. Memories of those bittersweet summer days come rushing back to me. But I digress. Very good, young sir. I must congratulate you on passing your first test. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. That just seems like that's illegal. <laughs> no, um... Okay, well, what do you want me to do next? Very well, next is my second command. You must search for the town's most timid and cowardly resident. I intend to flog his spirit so as to lend him some backbone. This individual flinches and jumps even at the slightest of surprises. I need you to capture the innocent instant of pure fear on this individual's face in a photograph. So tell me, do you think you can complete the task again, sir? Okay, well let's uh, very quickly, I guess we'll go ahead and get rid of this pictograph. So yeah, we're going to uh, find this guy and scare the crap out of him, I guess. Uh, one thing you could do is, like, all these guys, like, do the same actions, like, every single day. So you can actually, like, get all the pictographs, like, early. And then just give them to Lorenzo or Lorenzo, or whatever his name is, like, all at once. But I figured I'd do them in order anyway. Uh, so this is the guy we're looking for. Um... He seems pretty scary. Or, scary. Scare. He seems pretty scurred. So let's see if we can do this. Um, can I just do it here? No, I think you have to be up here. Oh. 
I feel like that's too close to him, though. I'll take a couple of pictures, because... Okay, so you can do that over there. That's what I thought. One of those should be good, I, I hope. <laughs> I've been wrong before, though. Thankfully, this is, like, not far from the camera place. Okay, let's see if any of these pictures work. There we go. Ho ho, now this is a finely staffed pictograph indeed. Clearly this individual must be the town's most timid of denizens. Fear his, his con constant companion. I cannot complain, young sir. You have passed in the most admirable manner. Say, is it me or is this chap quite the striking individual? Very good, young sir, and this means you have passed my second test. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Okay, so you're just taking pictures of townspeople and, like, using them for your own desires. I feel like that's creepy. <laughs> Maybe not illegal, because, again, like... It's definitely creepy, though. <laughs> Very good. Next is, at long last, my final command. Open your heart and mind and listen to what I have to say. Somewhere in town is a couple, a man and a woman, whose hearts are secretly filled with thoughts of the other, and yet, for reasons unknown, the two have never spoken. Even when they happen by chance to pass each other on the road, they each steal a brief, furtive glance of the other, but they suppress the longing in their hearts. I cannot let this tragedy go on any longer. For the sake of the town and my own desire to help these two poor souls, I shall become Cupid, Archer of Love. These two are timid burglars in the house of love, and you must capture a pictograph of them thinking their furtive thoughts. And young Master Slim, if and when, hope do, beyond hope, you manage to complete this third task, then you are be my number one pupil. <laughs> ho ho ho, does that not excite you? Good luck to you, young sir. Okay, well, we'll give this a shot. See what we can do. Unfortunately, this is going to be another one where we have to wait, because we have to wait for uh, Mr. Young strapping walking around guy to get all the way to the top of this little staircase section, which is pretty obnoxious, but that's what you gotta do. Like, yeah, it's this guy. And it sucks, because, like, he's right here. And he has to walk all the way around to talk to that lady over here, the one in orange. <laughs> it's just why? Why couldn't? Why couldn't he be closer? Okay, uh, the guy should be coming soon. I um, mean, actually, doesn't come from the path that I normally take up here. He actually kind of comes from, I think, like behind uh, the lady. Like, there's a little path over there. That's where he comes from. I forgot that that was the case. Also, you yeah, have these dumb freaking killer bees, though. <laughs> Hopefully they pass by and then the guy comes right after they disappear. There he is. Oh, that's good enough. Should be. Oh. 
Oh, oh, this is finely snap pictograph indeed. I had no idea these two would get along so splendidly. You can see the love they are hidden but thriving. Even I, who had lived in this town for so many long years, did not realize in the slightest the extent of their passion. You have done well, Slim. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Now then, my young sir, you have completed all the tasks I set you to. My doubts about you have all been cleared up. I shall hereby be proud to call you my assistant, Slim. And to reward you further for your fine efforts, I offer you this. The elderly lady next door tells me has value of sorts. <laughs> That's it. A joy pendant. Uh, so yeah, not a great reward, but uh, the greater reward comes later. From here onward, come rain or wind, my heart shall rest in comfortable ease. And at the same time, your heart will learn the love of that pictography fosters. Ho, 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 ho. From here onward, come rain or wind. Uh, right, okay. So, that's all we can do for right now. Um, he mentioned earlier about making a uh, colored picto box. But uh, we can't do that until later in the game, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to get that done. I'm going to see if I can at least uh, prompt him for that, though. My assistant Slim, allow me a brief query. Do you perchance know about pictographs with color? I have researched this concept for many years, and at long last I understand it. A stronger light is needed to imbue color in the pictograph. No normal light will do. In fact, normal light must be overcome. Color pictography requires a light of the very brightest intensity. Now, I have heard tales of a mystical creature in a place called the Forest Haven. It is said to be the tiniest of creatures, one that unleashes an otherworldly light. As an aid to me in my research, could you possibly use an empty bottle to capture one of those creatures of legend? Well, I can definitely do that. But uh, that's going to be a bit before we get to that point, because we're obviously still on Windfall. And yeah, I think I'm finally done with all the stuff I can do right now. I mean, there might be some other mini things, but uh, we'll be back here much later on to take care of some of that other stuff. For now, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, get a move on here. So let me erase this pictograph, and let's actually uh, get moving. But... It is close to the end of the video, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Next time, we're finally going to sail, and we're finally going to move on. Sorry, there was just a lot of side quest stuff I wanted to do first. But yeah, this has been Slim Kirby. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.